Hey guys, what's up? It is your friend Keith, and I am here live again in the control room at Essex Recording Studios, just outside London in Southend on Sea, England, baby. I've got a very rare USA Jackson guitar, the signature model from Anthrax's Scott Ian. If you're new to the channel, smash that like button, click subscribe. It costs you absolutely nothing. Come join our circle of friends. We're at about eight and a half thousand. We're on the road to the last. 1500 subscribers before we hit that great 10,000 mark so uh welcome and thanks for telling everyone about the channel and yeah we uh we drool over some really cool very rare guitars here so let's talk about this one why is this special a lot of reasons why so first of all this is the latest like highest serial number one of the last ones ever made of this body style uh, that we've ever seen in person. So the serial number is stamped here at the bottom of the fretboard. All right, so it's 0725JJ. 725JJ. Now, if you go on the Jackson website, they only track these, I think, up till around like the 300 mark. I've never seen one above 725. So this is one of the last ones, as far as I can tell. I looked all over Google Images. Uh, I looked at some previous listings. I can't find one with a higher serial number. That's pretty cool. Um, other rare thing about this is the color. I've only seen one other in this uh, kind of olive gold color. John Petrucci has a JP7 model, this color. I think they call it olive gold. That's the closest thing I can say it, it looks like. If you look up close, you can see it's kind of like a pearl, pearl metallic gold color. Really, really nice. Again, I looked high and low all over Google Images, all over previous listings. I've only found one other this color. All right, what else is special? Um, the JJ, let's talk about what the JJ model is. Jackson Jr. Now, anytime I hear Jr. on a guitar, especially a metal guitar, kind of turns me off because it's like, well, what is it supposed to be? Is it a kid's guitar? It's it's not as good as, like, is there a senior version? Is there a JS, Jackson Senior? No. It's called a Jackson Junior uh, as a nod to Gibson, which has the uh, the double cutaway, or the or the Junior Les Paul, which was an older body, solid body from, uh, I guess, the 50s is when, when they had this double cutaway uh, from Gibson. That's why they call it that. It has nothing to do with it being like a kid's guitar, a smaller size, or anything like that. This is a top-of-the-line, very expensive, neck-through, USA-made guitar with top, top quality components and build quality. Now, what else is interesting about this one? This one's had a few upgrades. So it has the original, I believe they call them the Seymour Duncan El Diablo, Scott Ian Signature Pickups. If it will let me focus, come on, there we go. So you see the Seymour Duncan logo. You've got the blade style pull pieces. Uh, those were his thing. Sounds great. Upgraded Tone Pros Bridge. The original one is in this little bag over here. Is it in there? Yup, there it is, hiding in there with the poles. I don't know what you call these pegs or poles, but the original ones, it's all in the bag. Uh, tuners have been upgraded. Original Jackson tuners all are present with the screws. It's got USA Spurzel locking tuners. Now, before you freak out, you'll be like, oh my God, they drilled extra holes. Why do they do that? It drives me crazy when you see uh, the extra holes and they change tuners. There's no extra holes. These locking USA Spurzel tuners are secured by the nut here on the top. So, you don't have to worry about that. There aren't any extra holes. If you want the Jackson tuners put back in, you pop them in, and then they screw in where you see their screw holes, and bye-bye exposed holes. Cool? No big deal, guys. Nice scarf joint, and the JJ2s have this really lovely uh, V neck profile. I'm not sure if you can see it here. I'm going to try my best. To show that angle. But yeah, it's got a V profile. Uh, dime bag used that profile. And it's very comfortable. Feels very natural in the palm. Let's get that lighting back up. Ba-boom. Yeah, 
You can kind of see it there where it angles. There you go. Very nice, very comfy. As far as condition goes, really clean. Uh, frets have minimal wear, guys. Frets look good. Let me just focus. There we are. A lot of meat on them bones, as they say. And then you got to love the Mother of Pearl uh, dice inlay at the 12th fret. I don't know why the numbers are 4, 5, and 6. One of these days, I'm hoping somebody will tell me. Maybe Scott will tell me. Why isn't it 1, 2, and 3? Maybe it's just the, the highest numbers. Why isn't it 6, 6, 6? That would have been cool. Who knows? Then they've got the, the Ransom Note headstock. And every time I see the Ransom Note headstock logo, it's only this model that has it. Um, I think a few of the earlier ones actually had it in black and white. I've, I've had, I think, one that had a black and white headstock. Um, and I think I also had one that was missing the Made in USA, which was very interesting. But every time I see this headstock logo, it reminds me when I was in basic training in the military... And um, we had this kid who just had like horrific penmanship. His handwriting was terrible. And the drill sergeant came in and was like, what kind of serial killer handwriting is this? And I don't know why, but every time I see the, this ransom note serial killer type thing, it makes me think of that story, that memory. Also, correct me if I'm wrong, I swear that like through over the years his face logo changes depending on how long his beard was. Cause he used to have a really long beard. And I think earlier models have him with a longer goatee, but maybe I'm crazy. And then there's his signature. Uh, yeah, guys, really, really cool. Very clean condition wise. We know the frets are fantastic. Uh, there's two blemishes I saw on the side over here. Now they're not chips. If, if I run my hand over this, it's totally smooth. Right there, it's just on the edge. Where's the other one? Right there. So you don't feel that. So I don't know if that's been professionally repaired or it was a weird like knock that, you know, happened to the paint underneath the lacquer. But oh, come on, get in focus. Um, the good news is it's gold. It, I mean, to my eye, it looks like a touch up. However, the lacquer doesn't really look or feel touched up so it's a little bit of an odd one there but very minor it's on the edge you don't see it from the top you're not going to see it when you're playing i mean it's on the bottom when you're playing and uh it's, it's not something i'd really get all wound up over and then there's a little i think a little tiny little ding right there that i saw aside from that this thing's super clean, guys. Super clean. Is there a little... I don't know if there's a little blemish in the paint or something. There. It looks like maybe a, a slight little lacquer line and tiny bit of color variation. But that I think that really honestly just looks like uh, factory paint. Uh, a tiny little like a fingernail thing in the lacquer right there. Can't see it at this angle. So I'm just being very, very picky when I'm showing you this stuff. The guitar looks gorgeous. And again, it's just standing above it. You don't see any of that stuff. Yeah, guys. Really, really cool. Very rare guitar. It's the JJ2. So it's the neck through one with the v-neck profile and uh it's my favorite out of his signature models some of them have a kill switch button uh some i don't know why some do some don't we have a japanese one that has the kill switch button it seems like there's no rhyme or reason to it um you know in this day and age i don't i don't know i don't know how people how much people use it because you have to hold that was the other thing too is you have to hold your finger on it to, to keep the kill switch engaged <laughs> so it's a little bit of a gimmick i think on the ones that that do have it it seems i, I don't know maybe like 20 percent of them have it 
I don't know, don't quote me on that. But uh, the majority look just like this. Yeah, guys, so that is Scott Ian Signature, USA Jackson, number 725, in the olive gold factory finish. One of two that we've ever seen. Um, and if you want to buy this guitar, it's going to be on Reverb.com and our website, EssexRecordingStudios.com. The website is changing very soon. We're moving over to Shopify. Reverb has been so kind and generous to host our site for a few years now, but they've gotten rid of their website service. They're not doing websites anymore. So they recommend Shopify. That's what has the best integration with their website. And um, moving forward, that's where we're going to be. So I have a few late nights ahead of me getting that all set up. You can also just DM me on Facebook, Instagram. It's at Essex Recording Studios. And we can just do a deal directly. You can call me, WhatsApp me. You know, I've got someone in Switzerland right now uh, doing a deal on one of the Dave Mustaine guitars. That's very exciting. So, yes, we do lots of deals direct. Feel free to drop a line, shoot a message absolutely anytime on the social media. We love it. We get many messages every day. And, uh, in fact, you can see this guitar on our Instagram stories for today. If you're watching this a year in the future, then uh, it won't be there. All right, guys. Thanks for hanging out with me. Sorry that there hasn't been many videos lately. We're working really hard next door to open up a monster rock venue. If you go to uh, the artist Naomi Banks, N-A-O-M-I, Naomi Banks, if you go to her YouTube channel, you'll see a music video we just shot there with a Zach Wilde Gibson Custom Shop guitar. And uh, that's inside one of the, the venues at this place. There's four stages. It's going to be huge. So uh, it'll be a little touch and go with the videos over the next few weeks. But I'm going to try and smash out a bunch of them for you. All right, guys. Take it easy. Thanks for hanging out. I'll see you very soon. Stick around. More guitar videos to come. Bye.